Dear participants, I welcome all of you in this lecture of programming in Python, where I would discuss a new data type that is set. So in last class, I discussed uh, how to create tuples and how to discuss uh, how to access tuple, tuple slicing, operation and functions of tuple, and certain methods of tuples such as index uh, method and then count method. So we, we discussed all these concepts in last class. In today's class, we will discuss uh, how to create set. Set is another uh, data type. Accessing set, set slicing, operation and uh, functions of sets, methods of sets. So I will discuss all these concepts. So um, what is set actually? So set is an uh, a set is an unordered collection of elements. So actually, it does not possess any uh, order. So you cannot access uh, individual element of set using uh, index operator. So let's say you are having a set one, two, one, three, five. Uh, that's it and you, if you cannot access uh, data using set operator because it is not having any order every element must be unique and immutable it means uh, the individual element of uh, data should be immutable you cannot uh, list could not be the part of uh, element of a set so i cannot write a uh, one two and then three and then five so this this is since this is the uh, immutable uh, sorry immutable and uh, this could not be the part of set right so th that's why every element must be unique and immutable so since list is mutable element uh, mutable uh, data type so you cannot include uh, in in your set so duplicates uh, are eliminated eliminated it means if you are including certain du duplicate elements so it would be eliminated internally finally you would get the non repeated element elements are immutable like uh, tuples a string it is so so uh, set could co contain tuples a string but it could not contain a uh, list because it is mutable however the set itself is mutable what does it mean it means you uh, your set could be expanded it could be shrinked and you can modify the individual element right so you can mod uh, you can update the individual element and uh, as well as you can you know uh, uh, expand your set so uh, that's why it is mutable we can change its state its length and content sets can be used to perform mathematical set operations like union intersection symmetric different and so on so you can apply uh, all the set operations how to create a set? So a set is created by placing all uh, items inside curly braces. Like uh, in this way, you can create a list, uh, set. So this is the way to uh, uh, create a set. Or you can apply, you can use a set function to create the set. So I can write here set and then one or two. So this is the way you can create the set. You can also use set function to create uh, the set using the range function, right? Like in this case, we have seen similar uh, operation in case of list and tuple as well. So similar to those, uh, we can use uh, range function to create uh, set as well. Set have no duplicates. If you are entering duplicate value, so automatically uh, uh, unique value would be stored. And if you would print uh, a set, so you will get uh, non-repeated values. Sets do not con uh, contain mutable elements. So like in this case, you cannot have uh, mutable uh, element. But Python, uh, like in this case, Python allow you to store a string uh, uh, data in, in set. Why it's so? Because a string is immutable, right? So you can, uh, you, uh, so a string could be part of your set. Sets uh, do not uh, support indexing. So you cannot access individual element using uh, set, uh, using index operator. So I cannot use my set and then uh, one. I cannot access um, uh, first element uh, using index operator, right? So how to access then, how to access um, uh, element? So we, we had seen in case of a list uh, and tuple, we can have two different type of for loop, right? 
one is using uh, traversing individual elements and the another is using the index operator since set do not support the index operator so the uh, the second way of accessing the data using for loop is not available in case of set so set would ha have single way of accessing using for loop uh, uh, using uh, individual element actually so you cannot write you cannot write for i in range length of friends so you cannot write in the, uh, in this case and i would use uh, friends i let's say i am printing this one so i cannot write this one because i cannot apply index operator some basic operations like concatenation you cannot perform concatenation it means suppose you are having two uh, sets one two and then uh, b is equal to two three right so i cannot apply uh, this a plus b although i am having other operations like union and intersection so but, but uh, concatenation is not supported in in case of set so these operations are available in uh, tuple and uh, list but these are not available in set and i can use in operators to access the individual element so it is uh, allowed in uh, set uh, sim very similar to list and tuple sets are mutable so you can use uh, add uh, function to uh, add certain element into the uh, list so if you are using let's say i'm uh, having a set a1 2 3 and if i would write a dot add 4 so four would be added to this list right similarly if you want to add some more so that would be uh, added to this list similarly if you want to pop certain element you want to remove certain element so i would write uh, a dot a dot pop so an element would be uh, removed similarly you can use remove uh, method as well a dot remove and remove three so it would remove this element so remove uh you got uh, this three is not the index value right since uh, index is not uh, applicable in set so actually this is the value this is the element of the uh, set so i am trying to remove this element from the set a so uh, in this way you can uh, expand your uh, set and shrink your set so it, that's why it is sets are mutable sets can be used to perform the set operation let's say we are having these two sets so you can apply union function so to apply union function i can write a and then this particular operator or i can use a union b so uh, uh, this would give me union of this a and b so what it would generate it would generate 1 2 3 4 5 6 then a as 7 and then 8 and 9 right so uh, in case of union the uh, if if the sets are having uh, similar item so similar item would come only uh, single time right so like in this case 5 uh, is there in a as well as in b so 5 would be part of uh, only single 5 would be part of your union of a and b similarly with other uh, elements as well so the union of a and b consists of all elements from both the sets so another uh, operation is intersection intersection gives you the uh, common element from both the uh, sets right so you can apply this operator a and b to take intersection or other way you can use uh, intersection operation function as well so uh, intersection method to find the uh, intersection set difference if you are having two sets a and b so that the difference of a and b uh, a and b consists of all elements that are only in a but not in b so if are you are having a is 1 2 3 4 5 5 and b is having uh, 2 3 5 so a minus b would actually give you 1 4 and then 5 right so uh, a but not in b the element should be in a not in b so uh, to find out set difference i would write a minus b only or you could you write this function a, uh, a this method a uh, difference difference method can be used to take set difference 
Otherwise, symmetric difference. Uh, symmetric difference is actually the symmetric difference of sets A and B is set of elements in both A and B, except those that are common in both. So I would exclude the common element, right? So if you are having element, let's say A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And B is, uh, let's say, 3, comma 4. And if you are interested in taking symmetric difference, that is uh, A symmetric difference B. So first, I we need to calculate. I mean, internally, it will directly calculate the symmetric difference. But uh, actually, how it is calculating the symmetric difference? So first, it, it would take union of A and B, which is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And intersection of A and B is your uh, 3, comma 4. So A symmetric difference B is actually uh, A union B minus A and B. So 1, then 4, and then 5. Sorry, not 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, and 5. So finally, you will get this value. So you can observe uh, uh, the similar, the, the common value uh, has been. Uh, uh, you know, excluded from this list. The common value was 3 and 4. So, it has been excluded from uh, this uh, um, symmetric difference, right? Uh, let me show you how actually uh, it works. Uh, I am trying to open ideally and I will try to show you how I actually it works. So, let's say uh, you are having a uh, set 1, 2, 3, 5. And then B, you are having one another set that is 3, 4, right? So A union B, uh, how you would calculate A union B is actually 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? And then A and B, intersection of B, uh, A and uh, B, A and B is actually A intersection B. So which is 3 and 4. If you want to take set difference, so A minus B is the element that are present in A, not in B, right? So that is 1, 2, 5. And the symmetric difference is actually A, B, which is 1, 2, 5, right? So common element has been um, detected. A common element has been excluded, actually. So in this way, you can calculate the um, uh, intersection or union or another way is to take you use, you know, union B. So I can apply this function as well. Right. Similarly, I can use uh, intersection B. Sorry, a dot intersection B. So in this way, you can you apply uh, either you can use method or you can use operator to find uh, uh, certain set uh, operations. Let me come come to slide now. So we have seen all these operations and then there are certain more uh, set methods. So a dot update b. So what it would uh, give you update the set uh, a with the union of a and b. So a and uh, a would be updated with union of a and b. Similarly, a difference update. So it would remove all elements of set b from set a actually, right? So uh, actually the intersection would be um, uh, you would say that that would be removed. Then a dot symmetric difference updates say update a set a with the symmetric difference of a and b, right? And a dot intersection update so update the set a with the intersection of a and b, and uh, so on. So uh, there is one other method as well. Is is this you are written true if two sets have null intersection? If there is no any common element in both the sets, so it would give you true value in case of is this joint. Is subset if if a, uh, a set is a subset of another set, so uh, you can apply this uh, function is subset. So it would return true. Is superset similarly is superset if a subset uh, if if a set is superset of another uh, set. So you can you check using is superset. Then there are certain uh, functions uh, for set like length, maximum, minimum, sum. So return the sum of all. Sum will actually return the sum of all the elements. So all these functions you can apply uh, in set. So we have seen uh, all these uh, operations and and functions methods as far as set is concerned. So to summarize, 
uh, we had seen how to create set, how to access set. So we, uh, you, you have observed that as far as uh, accessing set is concerned, so you cannot apply index operator. So set slicing is also uh, valid in case of uh, uh, extracting certain uh, element of the uh, set. Operation of functions, so we have seen we can apply length uh, function, then uh, min, minimum, min, max and so on. And methods of sets, we have seen several, several methods like intersection, union, set difference, uh, symmetric difference and so on. So there are several methods, is this joint, is superset, is subset, so all these methods are available in, in set. So thank you so much for joining this lecture, we will meet again in next lecture.